I have to look after this little thing, although it's pretty big now and he bites every limb possible. I thought, you know what, if I've got to look after him for a week and a half, I'm going to exploit him for views. So let's take him outside and play with him a bit. Come on, come on. This toy hasn't even lasted one day. This is also someone else that's lost their life at their hands. Well, not lost their life, but come. Okay. Time to feed him. This meal isn't really gonna be special because I give him the more exciting thing in the morning, which is just eggs and digestive biscuits with some treats thrown in. But now it's just jelly, meat and jelly and some hard food. Dog food is grim and it also smells grim. Yeah, no, because he's a puppy, all he does at least like these days is uh, bite. He doesn't bark too much to be fair, but because he's been conditioned to think that if he barks, he gets food, he'll always just come up to you, sit. And if you don't give him food when he does that, he'll go nuts and start barking. Uh, but man, like, I don't know why I've been given this job because I have never looked after a dog, let alone a puppy. And honestly, the attention they need it's so much, <clears throat> and I'm just not prepared to do that. But alas, here I am. I think with uh, this experience, all the times I've said I wanted to get a dog, I'm definitely not in a rush anymore. That much is certain. I've been trying to put him outside for timeouts, and then he'll just start crying when he knows food is being prepared. Now we bring this to him. It's another shit video, uh, but I moved, but because I've had to be here, I haven't actually organized any of my room. So I'm literally just sitting in this kitchen for a week and a half. I'm missing work. I'm missing friends. But yeah, so I thought I'd give you an update of what I'm doing and how I'm living. And I'm just watching a dog eat 24 seven, basically. Thank you for watching, guys.